This is why you need Raiden. This is why. What's going on, ladies and gents? It's your friend, the number content creator. I wanted to make a video on Raiden Shogun. Now, the Raiden Shogun is going to be making a rerun very soon in the next segment of this patch. So, uh, a lot of you guys might want to consider actually summoning on her banner. Now, her banner is not released yet, so we don't know the four stars on it, but... What we do know is that she's going to be on it as well as Kokomi is going to have her own rerun banner as well. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to actually summon Raiden Shogun. The reason why she is absolutely insane, incredible, I highly suggest anyone to summon for Raiden Shogun is because she is absolutely vital for so many team compositions that it makes no sense for you not to summon on her. Now, obviously you could still go through the game without Raiden Shogun, but she is actually fun to use, and I really enjoy her playstyle. Her weapon choices, you legitimately get a free weapon that is the one of her best in slots as a 4-star. The cat. Obviously, as you guys can see, I do not have it at refinement 5, even though I should have it by now. But I don't. But at refinement 5, this has an increased elemental burst damage of 32% and a crit rate of 12% for the burst. This is massive. I highly suggest you guys use this. Even if you want to use it for your shangling as well, I highly, highly suggest you guys use this weapon. Now, for the five star options, obviously you have the engulfing lightning, which is her best in slot, and you got Skyward Spine, which is an okay option as well. It's not the best option, but this is the one I'm currently using. You can go with the crit rate, crit damage build, whatever it may be that suits you. However, I highly suggest stacking energy recharge in whatever way possible for her substats. Now, the reason why you want to stack energy recharge is not only to allow for the set bonus of the four piece set of the emblem of severed fate set to actually work really well, because once you do that, you're going to have an incredible burst that does so much damage. Obviously, her constellations, you can have her at C0. She's still viable. She's still amazing. D1 is really good as well. So I highly suggest if you guys want to go for any constellation to stop at C1, but C2 is even better because it ignores 60% of opponent's defense or your burst, which is insane. Anyway, stop at C2. Of course, you can go with C3 to increase your you know, burst talent, but now you're just gonna be like, oh, I should increase it, I should increase it, I should increase it. Yeah, C2, that's where you wanna be if you're obviously going for constellations. Now, her talents, I would suggest just using her elemental skill, elemental burst. That's what you need. Yeah, her normal attacks don't really do that much of a difference. I actually crowned my elemental burst because this burst is insane. The damage it does, the, you know, resolve bonus that you get, initial burst damage, all adds up together. Uh, especially for the energy restoration. It just is a really good burst. I suggest crowning it as well. Her build, incredible. Currently, he lacks energy recharge in the sense that I do not have energy recharge sands. I've been trying to get one for so long. I do not have one. I've got an HP sands. I got attack sands. I have this energy recharge one, but no way I'm going to like upgrade this. The substats suck and I can't get it. it. It just doesn't pop up. So I'm stuck with an attack percentage one until I can get an energy recharge one. By then, she's going to be incredible. She's going to be absolutely insane. Highly suggest you guys use her. And for now, I guess we're, we're, you know, we're gonna have to stick with her this way. She works in so many team compositions. I highly suggest everyone to get her. Um, for this next segment, obviously we're going to go to the Spiral Abyss and I'll show you guys a team comp with Eula and why she makes that team comp flow so well and works really well. But the Raiden Shogun is just so crucial on so many teams. There is a really good reason why she's that good on every team, right? She provides so much damage, so much energy recharge, the super conduct, especially on the team with Eula. So, yeah, so much being provided by the Raiden Shogun. And not to mention, she's super fun. I love using her burst. It's absolutely satisfying to hit, you know, the large damage numbers. To just, you know, see her use her skills. It looks so fun. I sort of want to do that in real life, but oh well. And it just makes me want to summon on her banner all over again. And I do highly suggest you guys, you know, to get this character if you have the chance. Or if you have the, you know, the Mora, the Prima Gems for it. I do highly suggest getting her for your account. In terms of fun, she's super fun. I don't think I've had such an experience with other characters she does have a pretty unique you know play style so i would recommend her 
for you guys that are trying to get her. So, even for you guys that, you know, are not sure if you should get her, I do suggest her. She's one of the characters that are must summon, along with the likes of Kazaha, along with the likes of maybe you um on certain banners, right? So, yes, highly suggest this character. Really good, especially on this team. As you guys can see, right? She's dishing out damage, super conduct is being had, and yeah, just enormous amount of burst damage from Eula, especially from the increase that we get from the Raiden Shogun. So yeah, good stuff overall. Love it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. Let me know if you are going to be summoning for the Raiden Shogun or even Kokomi in the next segment of the patch thank you guys so much for the incredible support on my channel recently it really does mean a lot to me i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye